Woohoo! Hot, hot, hot! Quickly, quickly! Clang, clang! And bam, 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 bam! Ta da! You guys know what this means, right? Well, it means that it is time that we went out and got busy in the gardens. So I'm going to finish gearing up here, grab my seeds, and I will meet you out by the garden. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is clear this grass. Make it look like it's actually a civilized place. We should be able to do that before dark. We'll go in, get our rest, and meet out here and actually start tilling some soil. I have great plans for this place. So I won't bore you with the dethatching process here. Um, I'll do this and bright and early I'll meet you back here and we'll dig out this area, make it as big as possible and I'll show you what I've got in mind. You know, I cleared it out, but you know during the night, might be a late night for me again, I am almost out of food I need to do some cooking. So I will do that during the night. Um, it's one of the things I that I dread doing, and I have all my seeds, got to put them back. Uh, but it must be done. Um, all my food spoiled. So I need to go to my. I keep doing that, clicking on the rock. Anyway, I need to get some of my. Uh, veggies out, make some more bread, cook it up. I'm going to do that off camera and I'll meet you out by the garden in the morning. <coughs> it's morning, but before we head down to the garden, I want to show you what I did during the night. Obviously, I made some food, like I said, but I also got this brilliant idea to make a wood box. You know, I've got my kindling right here, the fire starter, but I didn't have a wood box, but now I do, and it's actually quite a big one, as I will show you here. Um, it has a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven slots for firewood, so I never have to go outside again. And I think that is kind of neat. Uh-oh. Uh, wasted some space here. That one needs to get filled up. There we go. So I can keep the fire going a long time, and what I did is I just added... Um, the wood box underneath here just looks like stone, so I don't know. It'll work. Okay, let's get the seeds and let's start gardening. Put everything else away already. There we go. We're going to need a shovel. The first thing we're going to do is maximize the fresh water sources that we have. And so what we're going to do is we're going to dig out we're going to dig out this area. And if you notice, if you have two water sources next to a block, if you remove it, it'll become a new source. So let's dig out as far as we can and make everything fresh water. Oops. And hmm, too much dirt. Uh shovel almost dead. Let's put those guys in there. There we go. Ah. Wait, I thought we had more room, I guess. Oh that was gravel. Aha, uh -huh, that's why. Okay. Alright, so this is as far as we can go with the water. If no matter what else we dig out, it won't be a water source. But from here, we can go one, one, two, three, four. That'll be hydrated yet. One, two, three, four. That'll be hydrated. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All of this area inside those torches will be hydrated, which means that technically we only need the corner source. 
because they're close enough together that everything in here will also be hydrated. So we can fill this up. Ooh, I'm thirsty. Mm -mm. Fresh water. And I need more dirt. Man, I thought that, let's see, here we go, we've got more here yet. I thought I should be able to get enough. Yeah, perfect, okay. So I can, everything inside the torches will be hydrated with only those four water sources. And so that is the plan. Uh, the rest, I can simply uh, till out. Make a straight line down here to the next torch. There we go. And then I think I'm gonna leave a walking path through the middle somewhere, maybe there, I don't know. I guess I can always dig out the tilled soil and, and put in regular soil then, the farmland. And same idea here. I'll just leave those two for now. I'm not sure exactly where I want to go with it. And the rest we will till out. Maybe I should do the path first and till, till beside it. Let's see if it go. I know, let's leave some, some green too. Oh, I messed up there. Yeah. And I don't, I don't know. Something like that. So these actually were a mistake. Dig that out. Put them back, and everything else gets tilled. I can always change it up. It won't take long to change it up. So I'll do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, got the garden tilled out, and we're going to cover up these water sources and put scarecrows on top, scarecrows or lamp posts. Uh, but I am getting tired of having all these seeds in my inventory, so I am going to make a garden shed. That's next, and it actually is still early spring, the 6th of March, so I don't want to get too carried away with planting stuff. I haven't been here in the spring yet. I don't know if there's a cold snap that comes in and will freeze the crops or not, so it might not hurt to wait a few days to plant it anyway. Next up is a garden shed that I'm going to build right here, and I think I'll use maple. I haven't built anything out of the maple yet, so I need to go chop down a few maple trees and then I'll be back. By the way our tree groves are working pretty nicely. We've got birch trees there. We've got two of the red trees. I can never remember what they're called. Sick, uh, not sycamore. Um, chestnut. Chestnut trees. We've got willow trees around the, the water's edge here. Pretty nice. And these here are maple so I'm gonna chop this guy down. I think one should about do it. I hope. Um, I'm going to chop down one more just for the anyhow, and I'll meet you back after the hut's built. Erg. I came inside to get a hammer, and when I looked back outside, those guys are there. So, there's only one thing to do, and that is wait out the night. Oh man. Unless, yeah, they're still there. Okay. Uh, those jute that we soaked the other day, here they are, jute fiber, and we can make ourselves two rope, and we have two left over. So now we can use those ropes to tame, oops, yeah, I got to put everything in here, to tame the horses. And then come summertime, we can go exploring with the horse, and hopefully, oh yeah, I did see some donkeys over there, maybe go get some donkeys and make some mules and have some pack horses and we can really go far and carry a lot of stuff back. Anyway, I'm going to get some sleep and in the morning we'll keep working on the garden shed. They are burning. That is good. Ho ho, creeper festation. Quickly, where's my bow? One of them, two of them already despawned. Oh man, stay close enough to these guys so they won't. 
double kill. Uh oh. Stay back. Well, we got some gunpowder, not a lot. Some. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's. Um, peace out. Oh, there's one. Glad I saw that guy before he sneaked up on me. There we go. Any gunpowder from you yet? Thank you. I don't feel like taking the spiders on, so I'm just going to leave them. Although it would be more silk string. Anyway, let's keep working in here. And I decided I'm going to use uh, birch for the top, so uh, ugh, I need to go cut down some more trees. Some birch trees this time. And instead of just cutting in and out, I'll just simply show you the finished product. And then we'll start planting some seeds. And there we go. And there we go. Garden shed complete. Got a little tool racks in here. Got plenty of storage. Double chest worth of storage. I believe it's time to start planting some crops. Okay, I think I like it. Um, here I have potatoes, carrots, and I don't remember. Oh yeah, the onions. We have green beans, tomatoes, and here we have red bell peppers soybeans. Here we've got cabbage, yellow bell, peppers, uh, more soybeans or red bell, I forget. Here we've got two rows of sweet corn and we've got plenty of room for some other crops we haven't found yet. So hopefully this summer as we go exploring we'll find some more and we can add them to our garden. And one thing that I didn't do that I thought about is I should for sure check to make sure that everything is hydrated. If you press M when you have the a hoe in your hand. If it's blue, it means it is hydrated. And remember, this is four away from the water source, so this should be black, black, black. Yeah, these are not hydrated. So what I need to do is dig these out and put... Uh, I've got more dirt in there, but anyway, that's how it works. So I'm just going to quick run around here and make sure everything is hydrated. I haven't yet but my, if my theory is correct everything should be hydrated yes it is okay so only four water sources and everything is hydrated let me fill in uh, I need three one two three and you know what I want to just leave some of these tools out here because I don't want to always have to run back and forth from the house to wherever, and I'll just make uh, more tools to carry with me all the time. That way, in case I forget, they'll always be out here. What we want to do next then is cover up these uh, water sources, so let me go get all the stuff that I need for that, and I will be back. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to cover up these water holes, water source um, areas, with planks. And again, we can choose the color then later on to color, to color scheme it. But we'll just do this for now and do the rest here and then I'll show you what else I've got in mind once I finish up with this. Okay, the finishing touches then is going to be this. We'll put a block down there, jump and place a, a um, armor stand and there we go. We can make scarecrows. All we need to do is put on our junk our junk armor as we um, upgrade we can put our other stuff out here so we can show off how many types of armor we have plus it'll keep all the birdies away at least that's the plan one more and ta-da there we go scarecrows let me just quickly try it out here if we would put this on this one right here there we go scarecrows we can also put lamp posts on here then. I'll show you how that works. Um, at least I think it'll work. I think lamps, once we have the metals and the technology to make lamps, I do believe we could figure out a way to put a couple lamp posts on here. So maybe two lamp posts, catty corner, and two scarecrows. And there you go, our gardening excursion is complete. We've got our garden shed. We have our crops planted. This fall we will have plenty of food for next winter. I like it, and I will see you guys next time.